today I'm going to be unboxing the Intel Core i3 9th Gen 9100F. So it says right here. Yes, I know, uh, if you're not like a really tech guy, it's, yeah, it's a Core i3, but it's a 9th Gen and it's like a quad-core processor with the uh, four threads. Unfortunately, it doesn't support a hyper-threading because like it's not two threads per core. But it's a really decent processor, which I'm gonna be using it to um, using in my build. So I'm just let me unbox it real quick. And uh, for far as far as I know, we obviously get the cooler, the the thing like the logo thing. What's it called? This the sticker. Yeah, the sticker. You see the sticker? You get that. And then you get the cooler the intel stock cooler obviously I mean, I mean you're not gonna get some noctua coolers in, in here then you get the chip itself and finally last but not not least um, how do you open this thing oh okay right there right there you open that and that's a cooler oh please don't break it Oh, there you go, the Intel stock cooler. Shouldn't really put it down over there, I'm just like leaning it. It's a Intel stock cooler. It's, it's a nice one. I mean, it's not the best. The Wraith coolers, <laughs> they're obviously the best. And um, they're just, just way better. But like, I found this on a pretty good deal. So that's why I have it. So... I'll just put the cooler aside and talk about the processor itself. So this processor here is a LGA1151 chip, which I'm going to be using with the H310M Prime motherboard by Asus. And it's going to be nice. It's... It has every... Um, it's a nice one, okay? So basically, it's... Um, as I was saying, it has four cores, four threads. Doesn't support hyper threading and it's a discrete GPU required because it's a um, it's called it's like a it's a F version of it so it's a 9100 F which I think it's it's actually not bad because I'm gonna be using this for gaming so you it's not like I'm I, I'm gonna need the integrated graphics at any point except for the fact that if ever my graphics card has an issue. And I have to like keep it off, so maybe that's a problem, and I like stay away from my computer. Unless obviously I have another chip. I think I do. I have like two more chips at home. So the graphics card, it's actually it has warranty and stuff, so it's a good one. Last video I just showed you, and as you can see, the stuff right here, it's a 3.6 GHz. 4.00 GHz uh, on turbo clock, I think, and then um, that's all. Thanks for watching. It's a really short clip, but thanks for watching.